two packages of bees. Um, they are Russian bees, three pound packages. This is how they come in the mail. Um, you can see in here, this one's already starting to build comb. Back here, can you see that one? They're already building honeycomb in this one. I see it very well. Um, we're gonna show the girls how to install them. First thing we're gonna do is light our smoker and I just use wood pellets. Block the sun. Girls. Isn't that a bit of overkill? No. Okay. Should be good. Well, maybe not. Smells good. Smoke calms the bees naturally. They think uh, forest fire and they just worry about taking honey and moving onto a new hive. They don't worry about um, stinging you or anything. Okay. And then I'm going to peel all these off, these crossbars. We've got Anna back at the house because she's allergic to bees. So we have Kalista and Charlotte here today with us, alien number one and number two. <laughs> they are always daddy's helpers when it comes to bees. There's the honeycomb in there, see them build honeycomb inside there already. Oh yeah. Um, I prefer Russian bees oh, myself. Okay. They're not always the most gentle bee, but uh, they are very um, mite resistant. So, I don't always wear protective gear, but Getting stung in the face is not always the most pleasant thing. And then I lightly spray the bees with sugar water. Um, gets their wings wet so they don't fly as much. But it doesn't hurt them. No. Just don't drown them. Spray them in. You don't want any jellyfish stings on that shiny head, Squidward? No. They hurt on my bald head. I usually have an actual suit, but uh, 
Mama's wearing it. Mama's right wearing it. <laughs> minus one glove and minus a matching hood, so okay. we're going on a wing and a prayer here. What we do is pop the top off. Actually, you guys can do that. You can do this one. Pop the top off. And the cream will be inside there, right? Yep, the cream will be in here and a can of sugar syrup. Okay, here's where the queen's at. Let me see that. We only do one at a time, please. There's the queen. Okay, here's in her the queen. little cage. See her in there? She's really big, way bigger than the other bees. Let me get my camera to focus. Uh, Which one is she? This dark one. Russian oh, bees are usually okay. really black. I see her. And these come with candy in it. Can we you can eat see it? the candy. <laughs> and a cork, just in case those bees try and chew a hole through here. So the first thing you do is remove the cork. And she has been in there for probably three days, two days already. So I poke a small hole in the candy just to get them started. Now, why do they plug that off with candy for people who because don't know about bees? Because they will kill her. They, they're they not need used to, get... to her. They're used to their own queen, so they will kill her. So you put her in a cage for three, four days, and then they slowly eat the candy. And by that time, they're used to her scent. And. Uh, Recognize her as queen. Yep, and they will not harm her. So, we'll put her in here first. Between some frames. Just kind of smash the frames in there so she don't fall out. And they'll release her. And okay. we'll have a brand new queen. And then I like to put a box on top. This is the way I do it. And I put, I have sugar syrup in here, one to one mix. In these type of feeders, which I have one right here, they just slip right in the front of the hive. And then your quart drawer with the holes in it sits up here. Holes in the lid? Yes, holes in the lid, not in the glass part. <laughs> And then I like to put grass. This is just my, the way I do it, so that when I dump the bees in, they're not all flying out. It takes them, they can still breathe and they can get out, but slowly. And then they'll knock the grass out and then they get custom. This is their home. That's just the way I do it. So they don't just leave. Yes. And they could, half of them could just fly and go in my other boxes. This kind of locks them in to this one. Okay, now. We gotta get this can out of here. So we'll hit the bees down so they all go to the bottom and this won't hurt them. We've got a couple confused ones landing on the ground. And then I just pop the can out, cover it back up. Then I'm gonna give them another squirt. Gesturing desperately to get my face. <laughs> yes, bees go for your face usually when they're upset. Okay. I think your smoker's out. And then what I do, let me get that lid piece to get it ready. You just dump your bees right in, shake them right down in there. I'm gonna smoke them. And then the smoke will drive them down inside. And then I'll take this small box off, a little super, and then uh, put the lid on. Okay. They're even starting to make honey. 
I can hear one right by my ear. All right, take that box off. I have an ill-fitting hat, so I'm a little nervous. Try not to smash your bees. Yeah, that makes them angrier. And it's rude. Yeah. Here's a mad fact. Male honeybees do not have stingers. That right there is a drone, which is a male honeybee. Gotta hold them still. My camera has a terrible time focusing. It's nice right. and round. The girls used to think this was a special treat. Whenever they get too many drones, the queen will kick a bunch out. And Brian would gather them up and let the girls keep them as pets until their time was up. That's sad. But <laughs> Where'd he go? He's growing up. I have a great picture of Anna I'll have to include when she was little with a bunch of drones. And the very Charlotte's few bees covered. That are left in the box will oh make yeah. Their way into the hive. They're not liking me right now. My hat is pretty close <laughs> to my ears. Kalista, you have an infestation. <laughs> Careful where you're walking, don't squish them. Another mad fact that we found to be true, bees do not like the scent of banana. Don't eat bananas before you come out and work the bees. Yeah. We've heard to the contrary, but any experience we've had, banana mimics the scent of their um, alarm pheromone that they release when one of them is in trouble and it warns the others in the hive. So they're very aggressive when they smell banana. Mmm, <laughs> it smells like a campfire. I want to go in your lungs. This queen and this one. Mm -hmm. Is not as big. Let me zoom in. As the last one. I think I found the trick to this camera. It's a little bit smaller. So those other ones in there with her won't. They're her. attendance bees. They throw some bees in there and they keep her warm and they feed her. And they were from her other hive or? Just ones that were used to the queen cell? Um, hmm. Not sure. I can't exactly answer that. <laughs> we'll have to look it up. Google. Uh, this can comes full of sugar syrup, and these bees have been in here quite a while because it is almost empty. You're going to pick that up, litter bug, right? Yes. That means they would have eventually uh, ran out of food. That's not good. Good thing we have whole jars to feed them. I want to give these ones a little more water because the last one's flew a lot. Are still flying a lot. Are still flying a lot. They're sabotaging me over here and I'm putting feet away. One's up, man. Take them all out. I'm gonna jump in front of you. Can you hear that on this camera? I hope you can. It's a bit of an unnerving sound, to be honest. Yeah, I'm gonna back up. Oh, these ones are a little more aggressive. Oh, that one just dive bombed me. <laughs> this does not hurt the bees, by the way. Just gives them little tiny bee headaches. Propolis trap. Trap's propolis, which is like a natural antibiotic, and I'm going to put that on this one. It's made from tree sap and pollen. They use it to glue holes shut in their hive and just to seal things up. And it is a very little known natural mild antibiotic. 
won't work for anything serious like sinus infections or strep, but for um, colds, it seems to help to clear them up faster and uh, definitely works for things like cellulitis. We've had great success with it. It's really cut down our antibiotic use. Um, when they come in the mail, they're usually not aggressive, especially when you sugar syrup them, spray, so you don't usually get stung. Usually, knock on. I'm gonna knock on this tree right here. Knock on wood. This is my hand right now because I am missing a glove. That's how I'm controlling the camera with my club fist. Pick your nose. Hey, you wanna hear Steve Irwin's bee joke? Go ahead. She's a bee yote. <laughs> <laughs> I love your. She's a bee yote. <laughs> I love that guy. Pleased a huge fan of the Aussie crowd. Aussie, she's, Aussie, Aussie. She's moving to Australia someday. <laughs> We've got Vegemite in the cupboard and we know how to eat it properly thanks to her. Right? It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> wow. Run, Seamus! This is not cat friendly. What a goober. Is it in your glove? No. This was uh, a tree fell down in somebody's yard and I didn't want to cut it open so I cut a giant trunk out and I drove it home and I've had it back here for over a year now. And it's uh, our Winnie the Pooh tree. Yeah. Very gentle honeybees. I actually cut the top and bottom off without a suit on. They didn't even try and sting me. And they've been doing really well. Now they're really clustered near the front. Is that because they're ready to swarm soon? No, that's just that's where, that's the just where they're honeycombs at. Honeycombs at. All right, Kalisa, I've got a joke for you. I'm getting swarmed by bees. There you are. I didn't. <laughs> I thought that was you. <laughs> Mother fell. We're well, the same height now. I'm gonna get out of here and let them be. Oh, get it? <laughs> Dad joke. Mine's better. <laughs> yeah, yours was better. What was it again? Tell me one more time. Oh, she's a bee. You. <laughs> she's coming for you, Australia. You're gonna get a Kalista someday. Oh, look at the teeth on that thing. She's a beaut. <laughs> this stormy. They it's so leave. funny. Yeah, we'll have to DB ourselves they gently like before we leave. They cleaning themselves, just kind of chilling. Well, in. because you sprayed them with sugar water. They like that. So they're they're probably looking. They're it bathing off. and eating at the same time. <laughs> You're back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yucky. Well, that's disgusting. Yeah. Thanks for pointing that out. <laughs> In about three days, we'll come back, pop the tops off, and make sure the queen's out. And um, if she's not, I'll just release her. I'll pop the candy out and let her go. Um, they'll be used to her by then. But that's what you do. Well, we're all done, so we're going to be on our way. Don't forget <laughs> to like and subscribe.